Hey Virgo, welcome back. This is gonna be for the week of November 19th. This is the you versus them spread. So Virgo, I'll pull cards on your hopes and fears and next steps. And then I'll pull cards on the person external to you, their hopes, fears, and next steps. Um, keep in mind these are general. They're not gonna resonate with everybody, but if it does, please do like, share, and subscribe. For something specific to you, you can uh, book a private reading at my website, tarotimewithdana.com. Um, and also because it's general, the reading can go vice versa. So keep that in mind. All right. Whew. <laughs> so let's get it started, Virgo. What is your overall energy for the week of November 19th? Virgo's overall energy. I hope you guys have good plans this weekend. I, well, you're watching what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'm also <clears throat> going to be making gingerbread houses with my boys soon. I'm excited. All right, Virgo. I feel like um, your overall energy this week is there's something that should have came to completion that didn't. Um, and you're trying to get out of your head this week about it. So you might have been like overly concerned, feeling like you didn't have like the tools to complete a cycle or the answers that you need to complete a project even, okay? And you're trying not to worry about that this week or come out of like a worry state. Um, if this is to deal with a partnership, some of you have like worry or concern over the partnership due to like it being a cyclic relationship, you know, where like either the emotions constantly cycle or the relationship itself does. So I got a few different messages there. So person external to you, there we go. So the person external to you, Virgo, might be keeping a lot of emotions to themselves um, this week, you know, some of, um, might be a little bit temperamental this week, maybe a little bit emotional, but like I said, not necessarily showing all of the emotions. Um, some of you might, um, uh, be dealing with a Pisces or a fire sign. Aries Leo Sag doesn't have to be that sign though. But I just feel like your partner might be, I don't know, a little feisty <laughs> or stubborn even. Uh, yeah. But it's like they they feel okay, so the the vibe that I get is like they feel the emotions I just told you about, but they are they, they don't they're good at like not fully expressing. You know, they don't wear their heart on their sleeve, maybe like some zodiac signs can literally not hide their emotions. It's written all over their face and their actions. Uh, but I feel like the person that you're partnered to, Virgo, they do have the ability to um, temper it, I guess. And so I do see that energy. I know that's like a very bizarre message to get with that card combination. But I do see that energy in their overall energy this week. Okay. So, how you view this person, Virgo? fly out okay so Virgo and how you view this person
Virgo, for some of you, um, this person is not necessarily emotionally open this week. Like I said, I do see like, I want to say withholding of emotion though, but tempering of it, I guess. Um, you also view this person as somebody who prefers to work by themselves or be by themselves at times. Um... This person might have been waiting on something to do with work or like receiving even a package or a message and they didn't get it or they don't get it or there's still like a waiting period. That's only going to be for a few of you. <laughs> and that's kind of a side note. But um, I also feel like the person external to you, you feel like they are... Um, Again, I have the high priestess, which to me is like a spiritual person, but it also me to me the high priestess is someone who knows a lot but tells very little. So again, like I said, the energy of the partner was that literally that. I feel like also this person can be a bit wishy-washy, like maybe they have a hard time making decisions sometimes, um, and you view them that way. Um For some of you, you've been waiting for, so that's one scenario. I'm getting ready to go in a second scenario. Second scenario, some of you have been waiting, literally waiting for this person to come back around. Um, I feel like this person might be keeping secrets. Um, they can be a bit egotistical, maybe even a player. This is a different scenario. Um, and you view them as not offering like love to you and you're kind of waiting on that. So, um, you're not feeling, you know, you're trying to use your intuition with them. For some of you, you feel like this person decided on somebody else. So, I'm sorry, I saw two very specific scenarios there. So, pick which one you're in, first or second. <laughs> You'll know. You'll know which one you're in. All right, how <laughs> the person external to you, um... How they're viewing you. Yeah, you got mirroring cards here. Um, this also can be seen as the card of Gemini, but it's the lover's card. It denotes like a choice in love. So this person, like I said, if you're in the second scenario where this person is not offering you love because they might be offering it somewhere else, I see in how they view you is that they had a decision here with you and a lot of them chose to end it with you that's if you're in the second scenario or there was like a betrayal here yeah because either virgo you did not choose them or they did not choose you but regardless there's some type of like painful ending and uh, like a betrayal and for a lot of you this is a karmic like soulmate or karmic relationship like I said you got the wheel of karma you got the world card and your energy mirroring energies so a cyclic pattern cyclic relationship if you're in scenario one going back to that one where you're in a you're in a partnership you know, and things are going okay, but maybe your partner's just not opening up as much as you would like them to, and sometimes they like to be alone, and they're wishy-washy a little bit. Um, then the external party, Virgo, they see you as having a very strong attraction to you, um, but also, also... They view you as experiencing some sort of loss recently or just experiencing like um, an ending to one chapter beginning to another cycles ending and it might just be that that within the relationship we're like ending one phase and we're moving into another you know what I'm saying so I hope it's not confusing you going back and forth but I 
I see two scenarios and so I, I, I want to get both out. <laughs> so Virgo, your next steps. Virgo. Virgo, I definitely see a lot of emotion here. Um, you got the Ace of Cups, beautiful card. I feel like whoever you're partnered with, Virgo, regardless of the situation, whether you're in first or second scenario, you are in love with them. You love them. It's like overflowing emotion. You know, I feel like there is a lot of love there within the partnership. Um... But for your next steps, I just see, you know, All right, if you're in scenario one, definite love in the relationship, like I said, either scenario. But if you're in scenario one where you're in a relatively healthy relationship, um, I do see like travel this week and, um, you know, you're either dealing with a male that can be really stubborn and I keep seeing a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, uh, that, that has a tendency to be maybe like a little bit stubborn and set in their ways or that's your or that's your energy this week Virgo Virgos do tend to be a little stubborn I say that with love <laughs> um, and I just feel like you know there's this person that you're dealing with might uh keep things and emotions to themselves and you might too but at this week I feel like you won't I feel like you'll be a little bit more emotionally expressive this week um person external to Virgo or they they might open up more at the end of the week I guess I should say could go either way see person external to Virgo Yeah. Oh, awesome. The person external to you, Virgo, also got the Ace of Cups. So a lot, definitely in love there. Love on both sides. All right. So I feel like the person external to you, you know, they might be juggling a lot this week. We do have the holidays coming up, so... <laughs> Um, but they also, like I said, might be in this state where like they're in their heads a lot, but they're not communicating a lot because you got two swords cards here, which is all about thoughts. Um, some of you might be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There's a potential of like some immature communication this week. Um, definitely a, a time for rest or a period of rest for this person external this week. And like I said, a lot of love in the situation. Okay. That is for people in scenario one. Now, let me tell you about scenario two. So if you're in the second scenario where you were paired with somebody like a player type, uh, even where like, there was secrets being kept, um, you know, there was a decision in love, they decided to end it with you. Um, I feel like, you know, you're at a crossroads this week. You're you're trying to decide. Well, what you what is my next step then? Um, I feel like um, the person external to you might be just <sighs> stuck in their ways, stubborn. Um, you know, if you're wanting, I, because I feel like in the person external to use energy, if you're in the second scenario, they ended it with you, but they're still thinking about it. They may not be communicating with you because I do see a break here, but they're watching, you know, they're still checking like either your social media or 
even maybe like gossiping about it or talking to people about the situation or doing some type of analytics, <laughs> you know, because I feel like there's a lot of love still there. So, but I get this overall vibe of just being like, I'm not going to express it. So, at least this week. Remember, this is just a weekly read, so. <sighs> Very interesting. Uh, regardless what scenario you're in, what's your hope and fear, Virgo? Uh, Virgo, your hope is to relinquish control over the situation. Some of you, like I said, this is the card of Aries. Definitely, I saw a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, for those of you in the first scenario, it's just, yeah, kind of going with the flow is your hope. Fear would be, you know, Like almost like being overbearing or that somebody external to you would be overbearing or not in control of their emotions or not in control of yours. And person external to you. <clears throat> Hope and fear. Like I said, I've got two different scenarios here. If you are in, their hope is, if you're in like a, healthy partnership, like the first scenario. Their hope is, um, like I said, to maybe like come out of this stoic state almost and let go and express love. If you're in the second scenario where there's been a breakup, but you're still waiting on this person and they're still spying or looking, thinking about you, you know, their hope is to come out of heartache over it. It might be that this person loves you a lot, but you broke their heart. So that's why they're not coming back uh, this week. Um, of course, that could go vice versa. And of course, you know, they would want the heartache to stop is the hope. Yeah. For some of you, I don't see three people here, but you do have the three of swords. So if you're in the second scenario, there might have been like a third party involvement there. Uh, because I do see a decision in love, too. So um, that could have been something to do with it. And what's your overall message, Virgo? Okay. Uh, improving health. Virgo, I think I've gotten this in a few of your readings. A lot of you um, need to focus on your health, literally, um, or you're making improvements to your health, which is great. Because whether you're in scenario one or scenario two, I feel like if you're in a heartaching situation, you know, your emotional well-being is tied directly to your physical well-being. And so it's important to express and temper your emotions to keep your physical well-being in balance. Does that make sense? So, you know, regardless of which scenario you're in, um, you know, temperance is what's needed. Don't be afraid to express your emotion. Vice versa, this person, that might be a message for them. So. so that's what I got for you. Let me tell you the zodiac signs I see. Don't get caught up on them. It's a general read. I just do it because you guys like it. I see Aries. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Again, like I said, this heavy on a fire sign here. I've got Pisces. I've got Pisces twice. Uh, could be Cancer Scorpio. I've got Gemini twice. Mm, 
possibly Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And that's it, guys. So I hope that resonated with you. And if it did, please do like, share, and subscribe. And I hope you have a wonderful um, Thanksgiving week. And I'll see you next time. Bye.